Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's fantastic to see you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. I don't think I've spoken about so far on this channel and it's going to be regarding that transition period, okay? That transition period over from, you know, secondary school or high school if you must and uni, okay? So what's this what's this transition period you talk about? What's, what's this holy grail? So in order to delve into this transition period a little bit smoother, let's take me as an example. I moved here to Riga approximately five to six months after my A-level studies. I got here and I was like, wait, what's going on? Well, like everything academically is happening at once. Like, why is why have we got to learn anatomy? And why have we got to learn it in Latin? You know, like why 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 do I have to learn Latin? You know, all these kind of questions and like assignments and coursework and stuff like that. Uh, exams, they all happened and it all hit me like a like a like a frail truck. I think that's what you call a frail truck. A fright train, a fright train, that's what you call it. So in today's video, I would like to talk about a few things that I sincerely hope will make that transition period from school over to university, and more specifically university here in Riga, a lot smoother. And I really, 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 really hope this can help you out in some way, shape, or form. So with that being said, guys, sit back, relax, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and let's get into the video. Right guys, how you doing? It's been about four hours and I was blessed enough to get a visit from the part-time tourist, the part-time tour guide. Oh, mate, thanks for having me. It's been, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I think it's been, when, when was the last video? Kamiri, maybe? Yeah, yeah, so well before summer. Months. How you been, boy? Man, I've been good, I've been good. I'm, uh, I'm excited that we've almost synced up our hat colours. I thought it's shows me naughty business. maroon numbers. He's, he's, he's gone polo. Yeah, and what about yourself? I don't usually start like these videos off with pleasantries. <laughs> great, cut straight into it. Great, great work on the garden. So. <laughs> Thank you, mate. All for your <laughs> so, guys, let's talk about those ways that we can make this transition a lot easier. So, firstly, let's talk about a concept that I like to call funneling the information down. Now, often you'll start a study course. So, say, for example, do you remember anatomy? Yes, may I do anatomy? Uh, there was a lot to learn, and there were a lot of sources that were recommended by our university. But in the end of the day, we only needed like one source, right? I think so. I think it was just you only need the one. There's so much info out yeah. there, uh, but it's a question of, like you said, just funneling. Exactly. Information. Finding out, you know, what sources are required to pass that specific exam um, is, is very important. It can save you a lot of time in the long run. So, for example, I'm not saying don't read extra things, like it's good to, you know, read around the topic and stuff, but try and focus down um, and really find that specific thing. But you're right, for anatomy, it was just the one for for histo, maybe it was just the one textbook, or yeah. one script. Uh, for you know biochemistry, it was just you know the lecturers' presentations. That was pretty much it. Yeah. So things may have changed now, but uh, I hope you kind of get the idea. <laughs> That's right, because the because the information there's so much out there it can be overwhelming, right? Mm -hmm. You're trying to compile 15 different textbooks worth of info, um, and all your mates are given all of that. Yeah. Then, then yeah, yeah, we don't even use that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so point number two. And this is actually a big one, and I think it goes a long, long way, which is finding contacts in the semester above who can help you out. They're usually, I guess, the people with the most amount of knowledge because they've been through that process. Um, exactly. And yeah, they've, they've been where you know you guys are, and they've, they've done that, they've lived the process, um, and they know the struggle, because the struggle can be very real. That is true. Not <laughs> profound. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Dylan again, he hasn't come out in a while. It's been a while, um, but... Um, yeah, but it, is, it is super true that um, because it's not just for anatomy and in the first semester, but this will be a repeat thing for the next 12 semesters. So forget about finding friends with your own semester, <laughs> it's about finding them in the semester above because um, they can be really helpful. And, and guys, please don't be afraid to ask. Like most people, I think, in fact, everyone be like, willing to help you. Know? Ask me if you want to. <laughs> ask your like, Don't ask me. <laughs> well, if, if we have anything, any materials, any tips, um, you know, we'll be we'll be happy to help you. Of so course, please, please course. don't be afraid. Right, guys. Moving on to the next point. The big difference between coming to uni and being at school is that you know teachers don't chase you up here. You're expected to do the work by yourself. You're expected to plan out your days, plan out your revision by yourself, and that is daunting because no one's prepared you for that at school. Yeah, true. It was, it was really a case of. They've sort of taken off the training wheels of life, <laughs> and um, it's it's not too difficult to get used to. But if it's if it's something that you just implement into your schedule, where it is just being proactive and, and 
taking a certain portion out of the day just to work. And That's like, a good tip. Yeah. Just getting used to that lifestyle. Yes, yeah. yeah. is, is very important. So. And like, of course, it's not a one size fits all thing. You've got to work out how you study. Like, I'm never going to tell you how to study or anything like that. What methods are the best or anything like that. If you want tips like that, go and watch Ali Patel. <laughs> In a nutshell, find out what works for you and like John said, try and be proactive. Work out which exams, which colloquiums bear the most importance. What you know, how long are you gonna take to study for? Plan that out and plan accordingly and um this was lovely. That's it, just prioritize your time, just like you said. Exactly. And uh, everything will work out pretty pretty kosher. Point number four is this idea of being able to enjoy the process and it's something that's going to be happening over and over through medical school, but once you put the work in for a certain colloquium and you go uh, go write it and then finish it and then it's on to the next one, um, it should be a process that should be enjoyed. I think over and over again. Absolutely, you've got to you've got to learn to love it. Essentially, I don't think there's there's any other way of putting it. And you know, there are obstacles. I remember in the first few semesters, there were so many rumours going around about different subjects, different exams, and this teacher's really strict. Mm -hmm. You know, you shouldn't do this to annoy this teacher, uh, this exam's very tough or whatever, when really just try and kind of stay in your own lane kind of thing. Go there and experience it for yourself and then make your own mind up. Yeah. Um, we often get kind of bogged down by, you know, all these rumours, and I did, I'm pretty sure loads of people did mm -hmm. too, um, and it does bear an impact. So try and, you know, try and be a little bit open-minded about how the study process is going to be and try and, you know, learn about it for yourself. That, I, yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head, this idea of just sticking in your own lane and not being too worried about what your neighbour's doing next door. We were neighbours, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was sometimes I was thinking, oh, it's Dylan working right now next door. <laughs> <laughs> I should go on my day, but it's not right, you know. So if, if you do, um, if you stick to your, stick to your guns, essentially, right? Yeah, absolutely. Everything is going out. Uh, <laughs> not these <laughs> ones. <laughs> um, yeah, and you will be golden by yeah. the end of it. And here we are, right? Four, five years later. I remember this as clear as day. I think we were in Gambe mm. uh, during orientation week. John and I, and um, like our parents and stuff. My mum told us, um, you know, consider this a marathon. Uh, don't consider this a sprint, so just remember to pace yourself, don't burn out or whatever. Do what you can every single day, do what you need to do, work hard and be punctual and stuff like that, but you know, don't let it consume you. At the end of the day, medicine, if you're a medical student, is a six year course and you know, it's definitely one where you need a lot of longevity. I don't want this to come across like, oh, I know everything. Ted, and, TED talk. Exactly, I don't, don't want this to be a TED talk, like literally, but these are not things, we're not perfect at these things, I'm not perfect at these things, but we try and kind of stick to those now a lot more than we did back then, and they've really helped us uh, both out. So, Super true, mate. So, yeah. Right, guys, I sincerely hope you found those points somewhat helpful, and maybe you can integrate them into your own studies and stuff like that. Once again, thank you so much to John for popping by. Mate, it's my pleasure. It's always, it's always a pleasure to see your face, your mug. <laughs> any time, any place. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you should uh, you should come and join us more often. Mate, absolutely. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Perfect, perfect. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and join Team Ways. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care. See you later, Bye. guys. Which is your preferred? Well, anyone, I don't mind. Really? Don't mind. Ah, any bit. Any bit. <laughs> oh, man, this is actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. profile picture on the spot. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I can sit back. We need to look We need to social distance. You can look like... I actually don't know. Uh, okay, so... Should, should, genuinely, it's like your audience. What? It's like social distancing. No, no. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I want to moisturize, mate. I don't know. <laughs> Taking more of an initi initiative with your own study, and but there's, <laughs> there's, there's less of an idea of someone chasing you up, essentially. Okay, right, okay, fine. F find your, interpret what I've said, okay, and sure. wrap it up nicely. <laughs> it's been 23 years, I'm still waiting for my glow up.